dramatic developments in the world of space science. Researchers have discovered water on Mars. As NBC's Dave Wagner reports, it is refueling speculation about life on the Red Planet. For generations, Mars has been a planet steeped in mystery. Today, NASA scientists reveal the Red Planet's biggest secret yet. Under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. Images from a high-resolution camera on Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter reveal dark streaks that come and go as the Martian seasons change. Our findings strongly suggest that these recurring slope lineae are formed by liquid water on present-day Mars. Using an instrument that identifies types of molecules by which colors of light they absorb, scientists found evidence of hydrated salt on Mars. The existence of liquid water, even if it's super salty, briny water, gives the possibility uh, that if there's life on Mars, you know, that we have a way to describe how it might survive. After multiple spacecraft and many years of observation, Mars is coming into clear focus, fueling speculation about human survival on the surface. The exciting thing is that I think we will send humans in the near future to Mars. A planet once thought to be out of our reach, now closer than ever. Dave Wagner, NBC News. NASA will send another rover to Mars in 2020 for more exploration of the Red Planet. Well, hundreds of UT alumni are playing major roles in the success of the exploration of Mars. This afternoon, I spoke with Michael Watkins. He's the director of the Center for Space Research at UT. What role did the university play in the Mars program? So there are a lot of, uh, lot of Longhorns out uh, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California working on uh, a couple of different Mars projects. You know, there's, there's the two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, that have been up there for about 10 years, over 10 years. There's the big mega rover, Curiosity, that landed a couple of years ago. And then there's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter uh, that made the finding today. And uh, there's a couple of hundred UT grads actually working all over the Mars program and, uh, and doing great stuff in, in every facet of these projects. It's pretty exciting. How does the campus here participate, students and faculty? So the main way we participate is by sending students that go work on the Mars program, um, you know, ar around the country. UT Center for Space Research was established back in 1981 and has provided solutions to questions associated with fishery, mapping ocean currents, and weather forecasting.